What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Um, I am Antoine or Tuan to. <laughs> I fucked up my intro. I'm Antoine or Tuan for short or to some, and I'm your host of Two Inches Is Enough. And if you're listening to watching this on YouTube, what's up, everybody? My name is Antoine or Tuan. You feel me? Welcome back to my channel. And today, man. So, so today is gonna be pretty simple. Um, Rudy Gobert. Rudy, 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 Rudy Gobert. We're going to talk about Rudy Gobert and some of the things I... <laughs> First off, well, let's start with this. Let's just, let's start with this. Rudy Gobert is like a 7-1-7-2 center coming out of, uh, out of Utah. He's a, a defender, I will say. He's pretty, like, that's his thing. Like, he's a... I, I don't even say... Let me rephrase that. He's a rim protector. Let's, let's just put it like that. He's a rim protector. He stands by the paint, block shots, you know, a little bit of pick and roll action here and there. And yeah, you feel me? So shit like that. that that's Rudy really Gobert for you. So the, the whole topic of today's video, though, basically, is just the fact that niggas. I see a lot all the time. People just love Rudy Gobert, and you know that's fine. Like I'm not going to be mad about people liking Rudy Gobert. Like that's that's lame. I'm not going to do that. My whole thing just be like Rudy is not what people try to make him out to be. First off, the whole elite defender thing. Let's talk about this for a second. When I hear of elite, I think of like Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pimpin, um, you know, uh, Bam Adebayo for right now. Not like legendary wide Bam, but like Bam Adebayo currently is like a elite defender in my eyes when he's healthy. Draymond Green before the injuries and his age catching up on him a little bit. Um, who else? You have Robert Williams is a, is a great defender right now. He's 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 basically a weak in, in a lot of people in a lot of ways in a lot of people's eyes, including mine. So these are elite defenders in my eyes. These people can not only guard the paint, they can space out, guard guards a little bit, and do things of that nature. Rudy Gobert just doesn't do that. I mean, sure you have he has his moments where he can like pick up on the screen to guard guard for a little bit and make the guard pass. But not not until the ten. Rudy Gobert is getting fucked up on that pick and roll. He's not gonna be able to guard it, as we seen with Terrence Mann in the Clippers during the playoffs during the bubble. I think Rudy Gobert was really supposed to be guarding Terrence Mann. That's that that was his man technically, quote unquote. And I know all man's points didn't come off Rudy. A lot of them did though, because Rudy Gobert simply just cannot guard teams that are able to shoot score without using the paint. Teams that are can you can score without using the paint. Rudy Gobert is a is a liability at that point. He's not, and it, maybe it's because of his size, which is a blessing and a curse. He's tall as fuck, long wingspan. That's, I mean, that's a good thing and a bad thing, but he simply just cannot score the ball. I mean, not score the ball. He simply cannot just go, like, he's not good in that type of setting where everybody around on the opposite team can shoot because the paint becomes useless at that point. I mean, you might go in there every once in a while, but if everybody around you can shoot the ball, and Rudy Gobert's main job is to protect, protect the one place where people aren't going to no more, then what the fuck is the point of Rudy Gobert being there? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, sure, you you have him. His interior defense is crazy. Like, around the rim, he's so tall. He's big. He's a big dude. Like, he just... Are we going to talk about the skill asset of this? No, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about that. Cause I, I'm pretty sure there's some skill that goes into it. I'm not that fucking tall. I don't know what he puts into the, the skill asset of it. But from what it looks like, from the average fan, which is me, he just, he just kind of, like, sticks his hands up. Uh, it's a little bit of timing that goes into it. You know, when to jump, when not to jump. And you feel me? Like... He works out, obviously. You get a little, a little bounce when he jumps a little bit. You feel me? Shit like that. But other than that, the nigga just is big, bro, and just jumps when he sees the ball go in the air. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Draymond Green, Robert Williams, and Bam, they aren't the biggest guys, right? So they make up for it in other various ways with their IQ, the, the even just the calling out on stuff. Rudy Gobert isn't... <laughs> he's not like... He, he, he He's saying stuff on defense probably but he's not to the Draymond Green level IQ wise of defense because he doesn't have to be because he's so damn big and so I know people are probably gonna be like oh well if that's the case then why, do, why are we talking about this it doesn't matter he's getting the job done and what's and that's why this circles back back to my my, my point about the job he is quote-unquote getting done it depends on what we're saying Rudy Gobert is and what his job is and how well he does that job if we're saying Rudy Gobert is an elite defender and he gets that, and that's the job he is qualified for, and that's what he does, then no. Rudy Gobert does not get the fucking job done. Like, that's just not what he does. Um, like, we're, we're going to be 100% with this. 
The nigga's not an elite defender because he can't do everything on defense. He doesn't do everything you need for him on defense at a good level. He's elite at... Now, if you're saying Rudy Gobert is an elite rim protector, like, he's done a really good job protecting the basket on defense. Oh, yes. Clap it up. Yes, he does. I would hope so. The 7'2 nigga with, the, with a, a long-ass wingspan can guard the fucking paint. Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah, he does do that well. You're right. You got me there. But it's when people start saying he's like the defensive, like the defensive player of year shits. I'm sorry, like that's just he just shouldn't win those shits. Cause when you put him in the pick and roll situation with a guard that's competent and a guard that's like of of, of good skill level, now, I'm not even gonna say elite. Like I'm not talking about Dame. I'm not talking about Kyrie. Obviously, I don't expect Rudy Gobert to be out there guarding those niggas. But Jay, okay, Jalen Brunson, I guess he's having a breakout year. But like, fucking, I don't know, Jalen Brunson. Why would Rudy, you should be able to guard a nigga with the skill level of the Jalen Brunson. No, no disrespect to Jalen Brunson. He's a bucky. I get that. Rudy Gobert should be able to have the skill level to guard a nigga like Jalen Brunson, though. Like he should have that skill level. Like that should be a, he should be able to move and, and like move like that. And keep if you are because you gotta feel me, this isn't like I'm like his job is to be an elite rim protector. That's what I look at him as. But the, the common man, apparently, and a lot of jazz fans, this nigga's an elite defender. An elite defender has the mobility to keep up with guards off the dribble and shit and still react and get back to the paint and play great defense. You feel me? And it's stuff like that. Now, it's also the argument that, like, okay, Marcus Smart can't guard bigs. That's fine. I get that. That's why we're not saying... And I still think Marcus Smart's elite, too. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> There's no... It's not a lot of guards in the NBA that can guard bigs. You don't see a lot of guards doing that. Now, if you want to be a dickhead and be like, Giannis, Giannis is a fucking hybrid nigga. He's not, he's not normal. If anything, that kind of goes to my point of why Rudy Gobert should be better than what the fuck he is. Because Giannis is a little bit shorter than him, but can do all the things I'm saying. And some. So that's what I'm like. That also goes to my point. But still, you don't have a lot of guards, elite guard defenders that can do that. But on the flip side of things, there are a lot of elite big defenders or quote unquote bigs that can do the things I'm saying that they need to do. I named them earlier. Draymond, Robert Williams, Bam Adebayo. If you want to throw Giannis in there, I think he's a power forward. That's what his position is. Giannis is a fucking power forward. Anthony Davis. You know, like, these are niggas that can do the things I'm saying. Even Joel Embiid a little bit, but he gets clipped a little bit too on pick and rolls and, like, just, like, perimeter defense in general. Rudy Gobert is not that. And so, that's why I'm saying, like, I'm not saying it to be a dickhead. I'm literally just telling you, like, he's not an elite defender. He's an elite rim protector. And so now it comes down to the people. After this, this, this is where the transition happens, though. Because people are like, oh, the numbers say otherwise. And da 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 da, his numbers are da da da. No. That's fine, his numbers. His numbers can say whatever the fuck the numbers say. The blocks, the, the, all that shit. That's cute. That's fine. That's dandy. I, I'm not going to argue with you about it. You got that shit, bro. But at the end of the day, when I look at him and watch him, the same thing with Russell Westbrook back when he was doing what he was doing, you feel me, before this horrible year. And don't get me wrong, I'm a Russell Westbrook fan. That's my favorite player. That's my guy. But you looking at his numbers, you would think, damn, this nigga's a demon. Like, man, he's, why, why, is, why is he the best, considered the best player in the NBA type shit? But then you watch Russell Westbrook play, and you're like, oh, well, yeah, no wonder he puts these numbers up. He always has the ball in his hand. He shoots a lot, you know. Uh... Yeah, there's nobody really else on his team for that much part. The other star on his team's injured most of the time. Okay, yeah, I see why. I mean, okay, this makes a lot of sense now. Like, this, I see why his numbers are the way they are. He also tells niggas get the fuck out of his way when he gets rebounds. Not like on the mellow shit, but like, you know, like, Steven Downs would like move out the way, see Westbrook come in and gets the rebound. You feel me? Like, shit like that. You watch the game, you see the nigga doing this shit. So you're like, oh, well, yeah. Now, does that mean Russell Westbrook sucks? I mean, this year you can argue whatever you want to argue, I guess, bro. He played, he had a bad year this year. But that's for a various other reason. That's a different video. But Russell Westbrook's never sucked. I just think Russell Westbrook never had the team mentality to get ahead to where he needed to be. And he's never took the time to develop that jump shot he needed. So, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So, numbers don't... And on the flip side of that, you have Draymond Green type niggas. Where his numbers don't look even... His numbers for his, that defensive player of the year was crazy. Like, he had those crazy games and stuff. They were kind of decent. But for the most part, you look at Jeremy Green, you look at his numbers, you're like, this nigga's an all-time great. He's a Hall of Famer. You see his accolades, obviously, but you're like, this nigga's a great. But when you watch Draymond Green play and see what the fuck he's doing, you're like, oh, well, yeah, this nigga's a great. Look, look how he's, the defense. Look what he's doing with the defense. He, he's, he's moving around. He's guarding guards, switching on. Like, I seen one clip of Draymond just 
guard. He guarded everybody on the opposite team at one point or another, and they ended up getting the ball still, and they still did it. Three on one fast break. Draymond Green is by himself, and he's able to stop the fast break by himself with just his defense IQ and stuff. Mike, you feel me? And so that's what I'm saying. The numbers, you can bring up the numbers and do all that shit. That's cool. I'm not finna. I'm not finna hoopla with you about the percentages and shit like that. When you watch basketball though, and you watch Rudy Gobert, if niggas aren't going to the basket, he's ineffective that game. It's simple as that. If they're not in the basket, or they're not trying to shoot the basketball, he's not effective. That, that's all I'm saying. Like, if niggas are just rim running to the paint, though, or slashing to the paint because their big man can't shoot, or the spacing in general, or whatever it is, the big man's trying to post up and do that, and all their points are, like, trying to be made from the paint, Rudy Gobert's going to have a hell of a game. And that's why I'm saying he's an elite rim protector, but elite defender? No, he's not that. That's crazy. He's not an elite defender, in my opinion. And then, to top that off, you have the fans, too. Like, the Twitter niggas that, like, sucking this nigga's dick. Like, bro, come on, bro. You gotta put that, 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 that nigga's cock out your mouth, man. You gotta get that shit out of there. The nigga's good. We're not saying he's, like, well, I can make an argument he's not good. We'll, we'll get to that. The nigga is, 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 a, is, a, is a fish. <laughs> he does what he needs to do very well. I'll say that. Like, he, gets, he does the rim protecting stuff very well, and he plays his role very well. I'll say that. And so... This, for, but for y'all to be coming in here, is this the fact that y'all be giving this nigga more credit than Donovan Mitchell to me is, is the craziest shit in the world. That's where I, I'm like, okay, you niggas are just talking with a dick. You're just talking out your ass at this point. Because, like, it don't even make sense. You feel me? Like, and that's what I'm saying. Rudy Gobert, don't get me wrong. Should he, I guess he, I don't, nah, bro. I'm not gonna be this, I can't do the passive shit. The nigga kinda sucks, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if he wasn't this damn, like, if I, you gave me Rudy Gobert, so I could kinda do what he fucking does on defense in the paint. Cause, like, it, it's not really that hard when you're that damn big. But I don't wanna say he sucks because of production. He does produce. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he produces numbers. And so I can't say he sucks, but man, that nigga, man, it don't take much. You know, his skill doesn't have to be as crazy as, like, a Kyrie or, like, a KD or like a Giannis. Cause his role is just, Sit by the basket, block shots, attempt to guard, play other defense outside the paint, pick and roll, stand by the basket on offense, can't shoot a jump. Like, you feel me? And so that, Rudy Gobert Bear fans, like, you got to realize, the nigga's kind of just a cone, a really big cone. As my homie Colin says, he's a cone on, on both sides of the ball, basically. He's just a really big cone. So you really, <laughs> it's kind of hard to, like, just get around that cone. Like, you feel me? That's all it is with this nigga. <laughs> But one thing's for certain, just like a real cone, that motherfucker not moving, that is not gonna move really at all. So you can get by Rico Bear pretty fast. The only way the cone gonna really get in your way is if he's just centered on the destination of where you have to get to. If he's right dead smack on where you're trying to get to, that's when the cone's efficient. And that's when the cone does his job. Cause you can't go, you can't go over the cone or run it over. You gotta go around it. So that's Rico Bear in the paint. Literally, he's in the paint, he's a cone. You can't really go through the cone cause he's a big dude, he's a big cone. And you got to go try to figure out ways to go around the cone. But if you just stop and look at the cone, I mean, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, Rudy Gobert's only efficient and, and does anything meaningful when he is um in the paint. It's just it's pretty much that simple. Like, he's, when he's by the paint, he's in the paint. Other than that, he is dead weight. So I kind of like saying he sucks. Even, like, the nigga I'm seeing on my screen right now, Jared Allen, the other nigga with the afro. He is a better defender than Rudy Gobert. He does a better job guarding the perimeter and picking up on rope screens and shit. So that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, he just isn't what people make him out to be. And the fans are really the main cause of this video because I be seeing a lot. They like they give this nigga a lot, of, a lot more credit than fucking Donovan Mitchell, and I don't, I don't respect that at all. It's kind of horrible. And so now we transition to offense. <laughs> it's very simple with him. He's not doing no crazy moves unless it's against niggas like that are like either old as fuck or like not good at defense for real. Rudy Gobert is not doing that. He, he he's not drop stepping, spinning move niggas like no. He he's setting screens, sitting by the paint, catching lobs, dunking the ball. Every once in a while you might get a drop step, spin move out of him or something, but it's not consistent or as he doesn't have a bag like Joel Embiid or Jokic or like any of them. So that's what I'm saying. Rudy Gobert, no. It's just not It's not that at all. His offense is it, it's, it's just non-existent. And that's, what, again, Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell deserve a lot of credit for that nigga's offensive numbers because majority of it comes from them two niggas out of the pick-and-roll setting and just them throwing him lobs and getting him in good positions to score the ball. So, and that is why I'm saying, like, I don't... 
Rudy Gobert is just not... He's not that, bro. He's not that guy. He's not that nigga that people try to make him out to be. And I think we need to understand that. Donovan Mitchell is the, is, is the clear number one on this team. That, that's fine. I, I, don't, I see a lot of people say that and agree with that. But Rudy Gobert, he's number two. I'll give you that. He's number two, but it's not a very good number two. And, that's, and he's like the main reason they won't ever win a championship because, one, he can't shoot. He's not trying to evolve his game, work on his game any better. He's probably doing something on defense, I guess, a little bit or whatever, but he's not really doing nothing that's making – there's no difference we're seeing in, in Rudy Gobert. So, yeah. And then finally, I'll give him his props. Like I said, Rudy Gobert is an elite rim protector. Defender, no. Rim protector, yes. He's good at blocking shots because he's big as hell. And so I don't expect nothing less from a nigga that damn tall. Just like Taco Fall. Taco Fall in the same situation in Utah is doing just as good as Rudy Gobert in the same defensive system and the same play, way they play. He'd probably actually do better in my opinion because he's fucking taller and bigger. So I think it would be even better for him. So yes, Rudy Gobert once again. I'm not I, I'm not even a hater. Like, you know, I do think he sucks all in all. But, like, the nigga does the things that Utah asks him to do. He does it pretty well. I, I just don't like when niggas start thinking he's, like, he's all-star worthy level. Or he, he, he he's, uh, like, fucking an elite big man in the NBA. And when you look at his defense and that rating and, uh, and all these numbers shit to back him up and say he's, like, damn, um, so I've seen some niggas try to make cases for this nigga to be like MVP, like in the con- not win it, but like in the conversation. And, and, and it's no, he should never be barred up when it comes to talking about the elite big men in the NBA. You want to say good or like you know the good big men, like uh, dumb, like dumb niggas or like the, the decent big men or something cool. But, but like Rudy Gobert is not. He's just not an elite big man in today's NBA game. He's not an elite defender either. The defensive player of the years are like very overhyped in my opinion. He's not he's none of those things. And so I just can't give that to him. And you know, I, I will say this about Rudy Gobert to close this off. I, I appreciate the fact that he's like one of the last, like, you know, standard big men in NBA. You know, you guys still got your Steven Adams, your Valachunas, or whatever the f- uh, hell you want to say, or whatever, those guys. There's not a lot of bigs are just big men, you know, like they just sit by the paint. Cause you kind of enjoy that type of basketball. It's very simple. It, it, the, the world is being um, basketball. Basketball world is getting changed by niggas like Robert Williams and them got those guys. So it is kind of refreshing to see not just a bunch of short niggas. Well, I ain't gonna say short, but like six seven, six eight. Like the six eight, six seven. It's it's, it's good to see a, a, a nigga who just can get the ball and dunk it. You know, it, it is kind of refreshing at times. It's boring as hell, but it's cool to see that like that that. That archetype of big man isn't just completely gone yet, so. But, yeah. um, Yeah, I give him his credit for that. Like, you know, I, I will give him that. He's still ain't developing no damn jump shot anytime soon, so, yeah. But, anyway, we're going to go big overrated. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's all I really have to say. This is a shorter episode because ain't really much to talk about. It's kind of simple. It's a very simple concept. Um, Yeah, that nigga kind of sucks. He's just blessed with height and size, you know? I'm not mad at him, you know, do your thing, and, um, yeah, just stop, I just really wish the fans would stop sucking this nigga's cock, and the league would stop sucking his cock with the whole elite defender thing, you know, but I will say, you know, as a rim protector, he's elite, I'll give him that, but other than that, he kind of sucks, so yeah, that's pretty much it, man, that's my two cents for the day, <laughs> that's my two cents on Rudy Gobert, like, uh, yeah, so yeah, man, that's pretty much it, um, thank you for listening, um, it's been your boy Twan or Antoine Tucson. And um, I'm out, man. Y'all be safe, man. Thank you for listening. Get a glass of water or something. And yeah, peace.